Yes, guys, uh, we have been eagerly waiting, and here she is. We have with us in the kitchen, Chef Jennifer. Hi, Nigeria. Hey, Nigeria. Good morning. Oh, Thank you for this. having me. Thank you for being here. Gracias. And uh, so this morning, she will be making African salad with fried fish. Hmm. Who can tell us what African salad actually means in local? Locally. Locally. Yes. It's abacha. Abacha. Ooh, I love abacha. It's not our everyday meal. No. But when we have it, it's very, very important that, you know, it is, you know, it has a lot of, you know. Mm, lovely colors, yeah. first of all. Oh, lovely nutritious. colors. A That's lot what of salad is all about. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the ingredients for abacha. Okay, so the very first ingredient, as the name implies, abacha, mm -hmm. is grated and dried cassava. Oh, really? Is yep. it actually cassava? Oh, yes, it's cassava. I had no idea. Now you know, ah. and it's cassava, grated, dried, washed, actually, okay. you know, you bring the cassava. Did you make this you... yourself or you bought it? Oh, no, I, my mom. Ah, from the delay. Okay, okay. So, okay, so. How do you preserve this dough? It's just simple. Just put it in um, an airtight container and, okay. and you're good. And put it in the freezer. No, no fridge. Just, just leave, it. leave it like that. It's already dried. It's very dry. You can see okay. it's crisp and crunchy. You can chew it like that, actually. So what makes it wet? You soak it in hot water. So once you soak it in hot oh, water, you use, use it. it. Does yes. it swell? Yes, it does. Okay, yes. okay, interesting. So go ahead with other ingredients. Okay, so then we're, because we are doing abacha with fried fish, mm. kote fish, I have mm. kote or horse mackerel. Horse yeah. mackerel. Horse okay. mackerel fish mm. already marinated with all these spices and all. Okay. And then we have smoked fish. Okay. I loved smoked fish because of the taste mm. and then it gives it a different um Is that banla? No. They call it um mangala. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, mangala. Okay. And also after that we have pomo. pomo. We know mm. pomo cow skin. It's a must have. Yes, very that. important. Go ahead. Okay. And then we have ogiri. Ogiri. Yay. No giri. And then we have red pepper. Okay. We have onions. Okay. We have garden egg leaves. Garden egg leaves. Garden egg leaves. How easily accessible is that? Not so accessible. Uh -huh. I had to scout around the market to get right. this. And it's a must have for your abacha. Well, it's not really a must have, but as far as you have green vegetables, it could suffice. So Oh, okay. 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 Then we have the garden egg itself the little ones and then onions some tomato paste okay. let's say and uba very uba. important upaka uba. uba this is what makes abacha abacha yes it's a must have yes so what is the most what is the most have in your abacha what is what are those ingredients that your abacha cannot do without crayfish okay uba uba Salt, <laughs> onions, okay. ogiri. ogiri. Then the others are, if well, you wish, if you wish. Okay. If you wish. okay. Yes. Um, so now I see seasoning cubes and I'm wondering, where does this come in? Because I know that you've already seasoned and steamed the fish already. So is this also going into the abacha? It's going to go into the abacha, but it's already, it's, you know, the abacha is actually going to be fried. Right. Yes, it's going to be fried. It's mm -hmm. not going to be the regular. There's one we call the one we guo, we guola. Guola. <laughs> That's the one that once you just dry out this, then you make this separately and oh, then you and mix, then you it, mix together. it together. Like yes, like unkobi. Oh, but this okay. particular one, we're going to be frying it with palm oil. So that's the difference. All right, guys, fingers crossed. I am pretty stoked about this morning's recipe. So first off, I like to eat healthy. Also, I have been, you know, sort of, doing a lot of African, um, healthy African diets, actually. And abacha is one of it. Nkobi is one of it. Hey, it's yeah. Kobe, go, go. Yeah, but for abacha this morning, because Jennifer actually obviously has an interesting way to make our abacha, which I'm very, very interested in because it's something that I'm going to learn and definitely going to try this weekend. Are you with me on this? Are you with me on it? 
Okay, you know what, let's do this. So yeah. where do we start off? First of all, we're going to start off with water in okay. our pot because we need to soak, soak this the so it can soften. Okay. So once this is softened, okay. then we now, while the water is boiling, we'll fry our fish okay. and keep it down. Then we now mix up these other ones. Okay. Now for the ugba, we're eating it like this. We're not cooking. Are we cooking it? No, we're going to cook it. Okay. But I'll use some for the garnishing. Okay. Okay. Yes, because some people like to eat it that way. Okay. Now, let's talk about the frying, pro the frying for the abacha, because you said we're going to fry it. Yes. Um, so, after soaking it in hot water, how long do we soak it in for? Five minutes. So, after that, then we drain the water? Yes. And then? you By then, this should be ready. We're going to incorporate all this into the palm oil. So, it's more like making like jollof abacha per se. Ah. You so understand? So, this abacha is going into the heat? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, are we good to go? Yes, we are. Fantastic. So, guys, if you're just joining us this morning with me in the kitchen, is Chef Jennifer, and she is making African salad, a.k.a. abacha. abacha. Every market woman can relate with this meal because, I mean, I, every time I go to the market, I see it. I mean, I see it. So, Lagos Island, do K2, my 12, so, everywhere yeah, I see the brethren are So, it is definitely one of our staples here in Nigeria. Obviously, everybody loves it. Well, well, well. So, we're just going to get um, cooking in a bit. We're going to heat up our water and um, soak our abacha. But hey, we're not doing this without you guys. So, stick around. We'll be right back. Yes, welcome back to the kitchen. With me is Chef Jennifer. And she is making our own abacha, a.k.a. African salad. And we're having it with fried fish. And uh, so much has gone on, so much, so much. Well, not so much, because we wanted you to be a part of what's happening here in the kitchen. So just know how to make your own abacha. So let's go. Okay. Now that our fish is fried, what's next? And we've um, soaked our abacha, so it's now soft. Uh -huh. and so we're just changing out the water. So now we have our pots washed and clean. So we want to start the process of mixing the whole condiments that we're going to use to make okay. it. Okay, and this abacha actually looks like Chinese noodles. Yep. <laughs> it looks like Chinese noodles. Okay, I just wanted to check to be sure that, you know, the heat, uh, the plate is on. And uh, so go ahead, please. Okay. So we're going to start, first of all, with palm oil. Ooh. Palm oil. That so palm oil looks from, really nice. Yes, it's really lovely. It's yeah. actually from the village. Ah, <laughs> when you see, you yes. know, palm oil from the village, you will know yes. it's in the color, yep. and then it's also in the. And it, it's translucent. Like it's there's something about it. it's just it's you just know. beautiful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and in the taste as well. In the okay. taste. If you missed out on the ingredients, guys, we have it right there on your screen. Whoever thought that abacha was actually grated and dried cassava, I didn't know that, right? And then we have our ugba. Ugba actually complements the abacha because, you know, when you're having so much um, carbohydrate from the cassava, you have the ugba with the protein, which is very high in protein that sort of balances out on, you know, the, on your meal, on the meal, actually. And then we have our fish. We have ugba. Baka, where we'll talk about um, uba, which is, is it moved now? Ogiri. Okay. Uh, we have crayfish, bomo, palm oil, fresh yellow pepper, red pepper, garden egg, leaves, and we also have the garden eggs themselves, but the really small ones. I'll call them baby garden eggs <laughs> because they are still really in their premature state. It's, yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, yes, we have salt, we have seasonings, we have uh, so much. Yeah, I think I basically, like, you know, listed everything. Mm, yes. Now, that's our palm oil is in the pot. What's We've added in? onions. Okay. And now I'm going in with yellow pepper. Yellow pepper. Mm. Yes, yellow pepper has this beautiful flavor, flavor and aroma. It gives yes. them the food this kind of village mm. pot Taste, aroma. Yes. yes. So then I will, I will like to, I always like to go in with my first batch of oba. Yes. How much oba should you use to? As much as you like. Okay. I I like to use as much as 500 gram uba for Ooh, just 200 gram. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know, okay. it's really nutritious and it's beautiful. Oh, it so 
to put use that one? in. No, I don't want to use that one yet. Oh, this is for I just garnish. yes for the garnishing. Okay. So we're going to allow this to just steamer. Okay. Steamer for a while. And then what's going on? And then candles? the next thing is ogiri. Mm. Yes. You know, I've always believed that when you when using ogiri, you don't need to use your seasoning cubes because ogiri has that local mm. flavor. Flavor, that you're, yes. That you're expecting. You know, for, for you're expecting it to give you know your food. food, right? That's so, that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. But because we have modernized mm. things, there we now have to you know incorporate some of these things. But if you don't have ogiri or you're in a place where you cannot find ogiri, mm. you can use your local seasoning like the regular, or you can use iru mm. or dawa. Mm. Um, Dawa, dawa, mm. I you know the smaller yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you can use that one As in well. place of ogiri. ogiri. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so things are coming together pretty nicely here in the kitchen. Um, so I'm going in with my crayfish now. Okay. So we have our crayfish. We are doing this in on low heat. On oh, low heat. On low heat okay. because most of these things are actually you can just eat them. It's not like they yeah, need to be cooked for so long. I agree. So we are doing it on low heat. So you don't want to over you don't yes. want to overcook it. We Most don't importantly, overcook you it. don't want to lose out on the nutrients yes. from this. I mean, because Uba is packing on a lot of nutrients that's really, really good for your heart health and good for your entire body system as well. And uh, of course, um, I'm sure when the garden egg leaves come go in, I'm sure they're also really packing on a lot of nutrients. Yes. And so is ogiri. So you don't want to like overcook it. You still want to retain as many nutrients as you know as possible in you know. You just want to eat them fresh. Well, well, pomo, you have to cook them. <laughs> you have to yes. cook your pomo very well. Yes, you have cooked. I've already done that already. So oh, it's cooked already. Yes, I've cooked okay. and okay. I boiled it already. Okay. You know, so this could this would also go in okay. because you need the flavor. Mm. to stick into it. You need yeah. the village flavor from the ogiri oh, okay. and the uba to stick into the pomo so it doesn't just taste like the regular pomo, okay. as we all know. Okay. And this goes in. Wow, that's a, that's a splurge. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, back in the day okay. when... Back in the day when we actually did this, when we used to cook this, we didn't need tomatoes, tomato paste. Exactly. You know, so but why? now we just like to use it to just enhance the tastes as well as the flavor of the. That's why it's just small. You can see. It's in this just case, very you might just small, call so. it jollof abacha. <laughs> Yes, you can, but yes, I just... because, I mean, it's it's not the conventional way that we yes. know how to make our abacha or that we used to know how to make our abacha. Now we are, you know, adding acquired taste into yes. it, but hey, acquired flavor rather into it. But, uh, well, like I always say, when it comes to food, just go ahead and just flow. Be creative. As you like. You know, don't put yourself in a box, right? Just, you know, spread your wings. And fly right. away, but don't fly too high <laughs> before the food now becomes something else. Uh, welcome to the kitchen, mm -hmm. Jumoke. This is Chef Jennifer, and she's Hi. made for you a Good morning. with Thank fried you. fish. Okay, um, African salad. I hope you enjoy it. Salad, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Um, so just was the ons by you know tasting the fish because I know that you're not an abacha. Yeah, brass. Yeah. Yep. So, um, okay, but just um, tasting the fish will do for okay. us. Okay. So you've had abacha before, right? Uh, Mm, I did. I, I did once. Once. And once. the taste was just, uh, so. it wasn't. What was it? This fried. This is probably different. I'll try it also. I'll, right. I just put two strands in my mouth. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. Mm. That's a Fish lot of nice. uh, right. omega. So are you gonna omega attempt, three. The three. Attempt, three. The attempt the acid. Acid. attempt the abacha. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> trying to escape. <laughs> That's no, no, no onions. I don't eat onions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat raw onions. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What do you think? It's different to the one you tasted, right? It's actually different. Uh -huh. ah, <laughs> I knew. I knew. <laughs> the taste is a difference. Yeah, the difference it's actually the taste. Different. Yeah. Right. And meanwhile, I love momo, so. Ah, <laughs> go ahead. Right. The combination is complete. Well done, chef.